words are yes, they are yes, and amen. Lord, you will never leave me, and you will never forsake me. I believe your words are yes. They are yes, they are. Hallelujah, Lord. You will never leave me. Father, you will never forsake me. Lord, your words are yes. They are yes. Amen. Lord, you will never, ever leave me, you say. Lord, you will never, ever leave me. Lord, you will never, I have a person. Never forsake me. Every word of yours, they are yes, they are yes, they are yes, and they mean. Lord, you will never leave me. Father, you will never forsake me. I believe, I believe. I believe, I believe, but you will never, you will never leave me, you will never leave me, never forsake me, ah, your words are yes, they are yes, I am a posanda, rekayama sonu, no, you will never, never leave me, never leave me, never leave me. You will never forsake me. Your words are yes. They are yes. And the most and the Korean the Lord, you will never, 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 never leave me. Never ever leave me. Your words are yes. You will never violate your words, Lord. You will never violate your words. For you said you will never leave me. Father, you will never forsake me. Your words, they are yes. They are yes. Lord, you will never leave me. Hallelujah. You will never forsake me. Your words are yes. They are yes. And amen. The Lord said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. There are times that it feels as if you are all alone. Times that it feels as if nobody listens to you. But this is a reminder to him that he said he will never leave us nor forsake us. And it is for us to stand on your word and just to remind the Lord, Father, you will never leave me. Lord, you will never forsake me. I am a your words are yes, they are yes, and amen. I believe you will never leave me, never ever, you will never forsake me. Lord, your words are yes, they are yes, amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, King of Kings. 
Thank you, ancient of days. God will never leave us. God will never forsake us. Even if we go through the waters, even if we go through the fire, you said you will be there with us. Rama Soka Ramahanda Makariani. Even if you go through the valley of shadow of death, and Sata Makariani, we don't need to fear for he says he is our shepherd. Your words are yes and amen. Father, you will, you will never leave us, and you will never forsake us. Lord, your words are yes, they are yes, and amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, let the earth hear His voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people, let them rejoice. Oh, come, come to the Father through Jesus. His son and give him, give him the glory, pray things he has done. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the end hear his voice. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, let the people, let them rejoice, oh come, come to the Father, through Jesus, he sat and give the glory, great things. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Ancient of Days. Thank you, Miracle Working God. There is no one else like you. We surrender to you, Lord, giving you all the glory for great things indeed you have done. You are busy doing, and you will still do. Receive all the glory, O Lord. Blessed be your name. Kaya basu tukokoyani. Adebo shata makaya. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Angel of Days. Thank you, Lord. Angel of Days. As old as you are. As old as you are, Lord, you will never change. Ancient of days, as old as you are, Lord, as old as you are, Lord, you will, you will never change. Days as old as you are, as old as you are, Father, you will, you will, hallelujah, and chant of days, Lord, as old as you are. As old as you are, you will never change. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. God is awesome. God is awesome. God is awesome. What an awesome presence. 
Thank you, Lord, for your presence. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The angels bow before him, they worship and adore him. What a mighty God I say. Yes, they bow, they bow. The angels bow before him. They worship and adore him. What a mighty God I say. Yes, the angels bow. The angels bow before him. They worship and adore him. What a mighty God I say. Thank you. Awesome God. Hallelujah. Oh Jesus. Kayaba Soto. What a mighty God. I say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I welcome you all once again to His presence. Welcome to the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. This is where we tabernacle in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to give God all the glory for all the things that he has done and the things that he is busy doing. Oh, hallelujah. The Lord is here and I believe he is there with you as well. I believe you can feel the presence of the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Welcome all the women on the threshing floor and welcome to everyone who is joining us tonight. May the Lord bless you. To every man who is online tonight, we appreciate you. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. Hallelujah. I don't take it for granted. I don't take it for granted. And I'm also joined here tonight by Apostle and the children. And I just want to celebrate them as well them for doing everything possible so that this program is coming out in its excellence and we just want to give God all the glory. Apostle, thank you so much and the children, may the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. The agenda remains the same. Oh, I'm trying to compose myself. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. The agenda remains the same on the threshing floor. Hallelujah. This is the place of separation. Every time we come on the threshing floor, expect a separation. Hallelujah. Somebody just type it out for me. Expect a separation. Every time you come on the threshing floor, expect a separation. Something must leave that is not supposed to be in your life. Something must depart that is not supposed to be part of your life. So every time you come to the threshing floor, expect a separation because this is the place of separation and this is the place of judgment. Hallelujah. God bless you for those who are declaring, expect a separation. Hallelujah. And this is the place of judgment. Every enemy of the Lord will be judged as we are threshing, hallelujah. And this remains the place of worship. Here we worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. And there is such an awesome presence of the Lord tonight here. And I believe that you can pick it up in your spirit, hallelujah. And having said that, I don't want to waste much time. I want us to go to the word of the Lord. This is a new month. And this is the month of the finished works of Christ. Hallelujah. We are talking about the finished works of Christ. Let's quickly go to our Bibles. Please get your Bibles, get your pens, 
and get your notebooks. We are in the book of Matthew tonight. We are reading from the book of Matthew. Lord, help me. Matthew chapter 27. We are reading from verse 50 up till verse 54. Thank you for those of you who are ushering online. God bless you. Matthew chapter 27. We are reading from verse 50 up till verse 54. The Bible reads, And Jesus cried out again with a loud, agonized voice and gave up his spirit. And the Amplified explains that, and it says, voluntarily, sovereignly dismissed and released his spirit from his body in submission to his father's plan. Hallelujah. Verse 51 says, And at once the veil of the Holy of Holies of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook and the rocks were split apart. The tombs were opened and many bodies of the, of the saints, God's people, who had fallen asleep in death were raised to life. Verse 53 says, And coming out of the tombs, after his resurrection, they entered the holy city, which is Jerusalem, and appeared to many people. Verse 54 says, Now the centurion and those who were with him, keeping guard over Jesus, when they saw the earthquake and the things that were happening, <laughs> when they saw the earthquake and the things that were happening, when they saw the earthquake and the things that were happening, they were terribly frightened and filled with awe and said, truly, this was the son of of God. Father, we give you all the honor and all the glory. Take charge. I surrender this service to you. Move in a way that only you can. You know the hearts that are represented tonight. You know the hearts cries. You know the prayer items. You know the struggles. You know the tears. You know the challenges. Tonight, Holy Spirit, move and speak to us individually and corporately. Where there is darkness, I ask that you bring light. Where there is confusion, I pray that you will bring clarity. Where there is sickness, I pray that you will bring healing. Father, I pray that where there is wilderness, I pray that you will make a road. I pray, Lord God Almighty, that you will heal, you will touch, and you will transform. I pray that you will save souls tonight. I pray that there will be testimonies coming out, Father God, from this service. I take authority over the atmosphere. I take authority over the airwaves. Let the word come out smoothly. Let the word come out unhindered. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, Lord God Almighty, that the network will work together with the Holy Spirit. Every home that is represented tonight, let your presence, your tangible presence, rest upon that home. Rest upon that family. Rest upon that nation like never before. Lord, we are asking for an unusual presence. We are asking for miracles tonight. We are asking for your touch tonight. Lord, and once you are done what only you can do, please take the glory. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen and amen and amen hallelujah god bless you and once again welcome to all of you on zoom god bless you for those whose videos are open at least i can see the people hallelujah and it is very encouraging and i thank god for those of you who are on facebook may the lord bless you if you don't mind share your uh, tag your friend invite your friend to come online and let us do this together. The message tonight is entitled, The Finished Works of Christ Part 2. Last week we had the Part 1, and this work we are dealing with the finished works of Christ Part 2. Hallelujah. Now, we started with a new theme last week, and the Lord made us to focus on the words of Jesus, which he, which he said on the cross, which was, It is finished. Those were the words that the Lord was highlighting throughout the, the service last week. The words that Jesus said on the cross, which were, it is finished. 
and we read that that Jesus said this word, knowing that everything he came on earth to do, the Bible says he knew that everything was accomplished. Everything that he needed to do was done and dusted. He knew that I came for a mission, I came for a vision, and I did exactly everything that I needed to do. And when everything was accomplished, he said, it is finish hallelujah that was the message of last week and the bible said that by his divine power the lord has bestowed upon us absolutely everything that was necessary for a dynamic spiritual life and godliness absolutely everything that was necessary was given to us hallelujah that was the message and the message is online if you have missed a message please go online and get the message because this is a series and, and you need to get the foundational message to know where we are going because we will be building up on what we started on with last week. Now, tonight we will continue with part two of the series. That's the title uh, of the message tonight, The Finished Works of Christ, part two. Hallelujah. Now, you see, the devil is going around making us to lose confidence because of the season that we are in currently. And it's making us to forget the benefits that were given to us when Jesus died on the cross of Calvary. He's making us to, 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 to move in fear instead of faith. He's making us to forget the benefits. Hallelujah. And that is why the Lord has asked me to bring this series just simply to remind you the benefits that you have received. Remind you the advantages remind you what Jesus gave you on the cross of Calvary and at times you need to hear it again and again hallelujah before it registered sometimes you need to get another touch sometimes you need to hear it once you need to hear it twice before it registers in the systems hallelujah and that is why tonight we are moving on and the Lord I believe will speak to someone tonight reminding you the benefits you have hallelujah now the scripture says in the book that we read in the book of matthew chapter 27 if you start to read from verse 45 onwards the scripture is giving us a summary of everything that happened during the crucifixion and the death of jesus on the cross of calvary it's a it's it 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 it, it brings together everything. It, 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 says, it tells a story of what happened on that day. And the Bible says in verse 50, hallelujah, in verse 50, it says, And Jesus cried out again with a loud, agonized word. That means traumatized voice, hallelujah. And he gave up his spirit voluntarily and releasing his spirit from his body in submission to his father's plan. Now, why is the Lord reminding us? Because I said, sometimes you need to know what you have. Sometimes we tend to forget what we had and what we have. And we look at the grass that looks greener on the other side. And we want the grass that is on the other side, not knowing that our grass is actually the right grass hallelujah sometimes we forget that we have and we are trying to stretch out to get something from the outside while the lord says i have given it to you let me tell you a story way 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 back i um i needed some funds i don't know what it was for so i went to the bank and <laughs> i stood in the line for quite some time and then i when i got to the consultant i told the consultant i i need an overdraft please and then the consultant asked me what is your bank number or give me your id ma'am and i gave my id and then he checked my id and he said you want i said i need an overdraft <laughs> and the consultant looked at me and laughed and said ma'am According to the bank account that you have, you actually qualify for an overdraft already. You, you don't need to come into the bank. It's already part of the package that you have. Not just the overdraft, but you've got funds that, that you can just access that is 
part of the package that you have and and you don't even need to stand in the queue when you come you are you you are one of our you know, choice clients that you can just come straight to the consultant or you can even just call when you need assistance you don't need to come and stand in the line and that was because i did not know what i have and i was standing in the line just like anyone else not knowing that what i needed was already part of the package that i have and so is it with this month that the lord wants to remind us simply what he has given to us already now the bible says he gave up his spirit now this is after he said it is finished and he gave up his spirit but thank god the story did not end with jesus giving up his spirit and dying on the cross and the story did not end there the bible says in verse 51 he says at once <laughs> somebody please type it out for me it says at once the veil of the holy of holies of the temple was torn in two and it was torn in two from top to bottom the earth shook hallelujah and the rocks were split apart hallelujah that means immediately at once means immediately when jesus gave up his spirit at once immediately at that moment the bible says the veil in the holy of holies in the temple was torn into two and it did not start from the bottom it started from the top so that nobody would say somebody came to tear the the, the veil but it says it started to tear from the top to the bottom hallelujah now in the old testament it was only the priest who could minister in the holy of holies ordinary people were not allowed to come and minister before the lord you needed to have some credentials you needed to be a priest and you needed to be blameless because before the priest could enter the holy of holies they had to tie a bell around their waist so that when they go in and they are they are ministering in front of the lord the bell would ring and the people would know outside that the priest is still alive but when the priest would enter the holy of holies and he was sinful the bible says the priest would immediately die in the holy of holies because of the sins and then when the bell was quiet the people out there would know that the priest died because the priest had sinned and then they would simply pull him out with the rope nobody could go inside the holy of holies but the bible Jesus Christ died on the cross of Calvary. The veil was torn into two and you and I could now enter into the Holy of Holies the way we are and come and say, Lord, I worship you. Jesus was the ultimate sacrifice for me and you to go into the Holy of Holies and to be able to worship him. His blood was enough his sacrifice was enough for you and I to come in and say Lord I lift up my hands to you without having need without the need to tie a bell around our waist there is nothing outstanding he did everything that he needed to do hallelujah now for someone who is online tonight I want to give you a little bit of a background or a breakdown of some of the benefits that you and I received when Jesus died on the cross. Or you might have heard about this already, but as I said, I'm coming to remind you what you have. Remember my, my explanation about my bank account. Maybe you are like me. You are carrying the bank card, having all the benefits, but you are still standing in the line. You are still crying. You are still praying. You are still fasting about things that you were given already. Hallelujah. So tonight, I'm just coming to remind you that which you have, that which you were given when Jesus died on the cross of Calvary so that you walk in victory and not in defeat. When Jesus 
died on the cross of Calvary, when he shed his blood, this is what he did for you. This is what he gave you and me. Number one, the Bible says he took your infirmities and he took your diseases based on the Bible. Hallelujah. In the book of Matthew chapter 8, verses 17, 17, Matthew chapter 8, verses 17, the Bible says Jesus took all our infirmities. Jesus took all our sicknesses, which means that sickness is not your portion. The blood of Jesus paid it in full for you and for me. Diseases and infirmities are not supposed to be part of us because the Bible says the punishment that was needed for our peace, the punishment that was needed for our peace was upon him. By his tribes we are healed. Not by the blood of bulls. Not by the blood of chicken, but by the blood of the risen lamb. He took our infirmities and he took our sicknesses. Hallelujah. Then the Bible says, number two, in Ephesians chapter one, verses three, it says, he blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. Hallelujah. He blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. Hallelujah. Which means we have everything that we need. It was given to us. The problem is you access it the day you get the revelation. Just like me, some of us needed to go to the bank to realize I actually have the provision already. And tonight the Lord is just reminding you, you have everything that you need for life and godliness. He said he blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. When you have Christ and Christ is in you, what is in Christ is in you and you have everything that you need. Number three, the Bible says in the book of Ephesians chapter four, chapter one, verse four, it says he made us to be holy and blameless. Oh, Jehovah. He made us to be holy and blameless. Now, if you go around blaming yourself, it's because you did not get the full memo or you are still standing in queue waiting for a consultant, waiting for somebody to pray for you. And the Bible says he has made you. You don't need to pay for that. He has made you holy and blameless. There is therefore no condemnation for you because the Lord himself made you holy and blameless. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Number four, the Bible says in the book of Ephesians chapter one, verse seven, he says he forgave us all our sins. Even that thing that you are thinking about now, the Bible says, he forgave us all our sins. We have been redeemed through his blood. The forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace, not the man's grace. We are forgiven. My sister, you are forgiven. My brother, you are forgiven. You don't need to walk around with the sins of 2015 today. You don't even need to walk around with yesterday's sins today because the Bible says he has forgiven us all our sins. And then it says in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 9, number 5, he made us to know the mystery of his will, which is that which means that he gave us the wisdom. He gave us the knowledge to know the will of God. The will of God is to bring everything in unity under Christ. He made us to know the mystery of his will. And then number six, the Bible says in the book of Revelations chapter 21, verse four, Revelations chapter 21, verse four, he says, 
He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of things has passed away. He gave us the inheritance, which is heaven at last. Hallelujah. That is the inheritance that he has given us. And he says, he will wipe every tear away. So being in Christ, you have an inheritance which is heaven at last. Hallelujah. I said tonight, the Lord wants to remind you about everything that he has given to us already. That is why this series is coming to us. The finished in past tense. There is nothing else that he needs to do. It is done and dusted. Number seven, he gave us his Holy Spirit and sealed us with the Holy Spirit of promise. Ephesians 1, 13 and 14. This is the promise that is coming. It's almost like an engagement party. Every time you speak in tongues, you need to know this is my engagement ring. <laughs> Hallelujah. Every time you feel the Holy Spirit, you should know this is my engagement ring. And my bridegroom is coming for the marriage. Kayaba Sanda. Jesus is coming very soon. And I have the Holy Spirit that is reminding me that I am his bride. And I'm waiting for my bridegroom to come. Every time you feel his presence, every time you speak in tongues, that should make you to know that this is the promise, the seal that you are his bride. His benefits cannot be exhausted. It cannot be exhausted in a one hour meeting. Hallelujah. But I'm coming to give you a little bit of what he has done, of the many things that he has done for you so that you can lift up your head and walk in victory. Some of you are walking in defeat because of the things that you have done. Some of you are walking in defeat because of the things that are happening, because you feel left alone. You feel as if you have offended God. You feel as if he has left you, but he is telling you tonight, on the cross of Calvary, I forgave you all your sins. Now, if I might ask you tonight, do you enjoy the blessings of the Lord in all areas of your life? Because it was given to you already. Do you enjoy good health? Because it was given to you already. Do you enjoy peace? Because it was given to you already. Do you enjoy blessings in all areas of your life? Because he said, Everything that you need for life and godliness, I have given it to you already. But sometimes we forget and sometimes we come to ask God over and over of the things that he has given to us already. Sometimes we beg, sometimes we cry for things that he has given to us already. And all he saying is, claim it. Take it, my child. I've given it to you. Rise up in power and take it because I've given it to you. Hallelujah. Can you lift up your hands in the midst of people and worship the Lord without feeling uncomfortable of what has happened with you three years back? Every time you come to the presence of the Lord, the enemy is bringing the guilt of yesteryear. The enemy is bringing the guilt of yesteryear. And all you can do is fold your arms and you are not even free in his presence. But he is saying to you, I have finished it on the cross of Calvary. I did all for you. I have forgiven you all your sins. I have healed you. I have given you everything that you need for life and godliness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you be honest with yourself tonight and ask yourself, Lord, of all the benefits that you have given to me, am I really enjoying them? And he says, I've given it to you. Why don't you take it? Why don't you stretch out your hands and take it? Because I've given it to you already. 
You see, many people know about John 3, 16, but only few chose to claim it. Many people hear about this, but only few choose to claim it. And today I want to come to you again, as I've been explaining all the benefits, and I want to explain this to somebody again. Today I want to give you a revelation of the blessing of the Lord. In the book of John chapter 3 verse 16, the Bible says, For God so loved you, my sister. For God so loved you, my brother. That he decided to give his only begotten son. So that when you eventually accept him, when you decide to take him as your Lord and Savior, you should not perish but you would have life everlasting. When you take this gift, this was given to you already. He is not about to give his life. No, he gave it already. And the invitation is, the day you decide, the day you say, I take it, that's the day that all these blessings will come to pass in your life and you will not perish but you will have everlasting life and i sincerely hope tonight that somebody somewhere will say lord i want to take this blessing because i want to enjoy all the blessings that were given to me on the cross of calvary i want to accept you as my lord and my savior because I see the many blessings that are missing out. I hope that somebody somewhere tonight would say, I want to give my life to the Lord. I want to surrender my life to the Lord. I want to surrender my ways to the Lord. And if you are online tonight, and this is your heart's cry, why don't you just lift up your hands where you are sitting so that we can pray together. Can you pray with me tonight? You are not here by accident. The Lord draw you to the threshing floor. He brought you here tonight. Why don't you lift up your hands where you are? And let's pray together. Say, Lord, today I surrender my life to you. Say, forgive me all my sins. Forgive me all my trespasses. Say, Jesus, I believe you died for me, but you rose again. Say, I confess with my mouth that you are my Lord, now and forever. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for saving me. I am now born again. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you. If you have prayed that prayer from the bottom of your heart, would you send me a mail so that I can pray with you again? God bless you. I always say this is not an emotional decision. This is an intelligent decision. Hallelujah. And this is the most important decision of your life. Lord, I just want to thank you for every soul tonight. I want to thank you for everyone who prayed this prayer tonight. I pray that you will seal them with the Holy Spirit. Father, I pray that they will not be lost in this world. Holy Spirit, I pray that you will guide them and lead them. I pray that you will give them the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding. I pray that you will help them to grow in the knowledge of you. In the name of Jesus. And help them to walk in your ways at all times. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. God bless you. Thank you so much for making that decision. And tonight, I want to remind you that the blessings that I've been talking about this evening are already yours. It has been given. The moment you accept, the moment you have accepted him, all those blessings are yours and you can enjoy it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want us to go ahead and just thank God from the bottom of our hearts. 
Can you just go ahead and say, Lord, I thank you for all the blessings. I thank you for everything that you have given to me on the cross of Calvary. Can you just go ahead and say, Lord, I thank you for reminding me. Thank you for reminding me about the blessings I have. Thank you for reminding me about the health I have. Thank you for reminding me that I'm not poor. You became poor for me so that I can have all the riches. You became sick for me so that I can be healed. Just go ahead and say, Lord, I thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you for bringing it to my attention again. Oh, I knew once. I knew once, but I forgot. And I was crying. I was saying I'm forgotten. I was saying I'm sick. Forgetting that you already did it for me on the cross of Calvary. He said, every blessing that you need, everything has been given to you. Why don't you just thank God tonight? Hallelujah. Say, Lord, I thank you. Mazuka na mahande. Oh, somebody just go ahead and thank God. Go ahead and thank God for all the blessings. Go ahead and say, Lord, I thank you tonight for everything that you have done for me on the cross of Calvary. Thank you so much that I'm not in lack. Thank you that you are my shepherd. I shall not want again. Thank you that you are my shepherd. I shall not be in want again in the name of Jesus. And now I want you to go ahead and claim it in the name of Jesus. What is it that you need? The Lord says everything. He says, said everything and everything means everything is it peace that you want in your home it is part of everything can you claim it and say i call forth peace you have the power to do that call forth peace peace in your home is it money that you need he says everything call it forth in your house tonight you need to open your mouth and claim it because when you claim it, i had to go to the bank and they said it is yours Take it. Tonight the Lord has revealed to you the blessings that you have. Can you claim it? I don't know what you need tonight. I don't know what is giving you sleepless nights. And the Lord is coming to tell you everything that you need I have given to you. Is it sanity? Is it peace? Is it hypertension? Is it sickness? Can you claim your healing? Is it blessing? Is it a promotion that is taking long to come? Do you want to get married and nobody is looking your side? Claim it tonight and say, Lord, you said. Mandebo sata bakaya. Area nebo korobobo sika na mahanda bakumane. Is it the salvation of your children? Is it the salvation of your wife? Is it the salvation of your husband? Claim it tonight because the Lord says, Everything Kadebo Sata Area Nebo Korobo Sanda Rekaya Basanda Claim Women of God, you need to open your mouth. This is not the time to be quiet. This is not the time to be quiet. You need to open your mouth and call it forth. Mandebo Shataba Kariande. The Bible says, Whatever you decide, whatever you declare shall be established. Kondo boshika na mahanda bakari ande bosata. Reba shondo robo kori ande beke sanda. Rika yama sondo bokori ande bosata. The Lord says, I have given it to you. I have given to you everything that you need for life and for godliness. He has given you the ability to save him. The ability to be faithful. He said he has given it to you to live a life as a... a, a, a Life that is godly. He has given it to you in the name of Jesus. You need to claim. You can't be born again today and tomorrow you are no more. He has given you the ability to serve him in spirit and in truth. Claim it. Call it forth. Call it forth tonight and say, I will serve the Lord. Whether it rains or it doesn't rain, I will serve the Lord in spirit and in truth. No longer shall I go back to the world where I have said good night. I will not go and say good morning. Kayaba Sanda Bakariande. Where I said good night, I will not go and say good morning. I said I will not drink again. I said I will not go to the club again. I will not go back there again. I claim the ability because the Lord gave it to me already. Mandebo sata bakariande. Reka suka na mahande bokoriande. Reba baba bashanda bakoriande. Claim it. A peaceful home. A peaceful home. Call it forth in your house. Mandebo sata bakariande. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I agree with you in prayer. 
I agree with you in prayer tonight. And I call for that promotion. That promotion that is long overdue. I call it forth. I thought they are cheating on you. But it is just, it is raising your salary. I call forth that promotion in the mighty name of Jesus. I call back your husband from where he's going around. I call him forth and I declare no more arguments. No more arguments in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare peace in that home. I declare peace in that home. I call forth marriages. <laughs> I call forth weddings. I call forth what? I hope somebody is taking it tonight. I hope somebody is taking it. I call forth weddings. I call forth weddings in the mighty name of Jesus. I call forth babies. You will become pregnant if you are married and this is your prayer. I call them forth tonight because the Bible says The devil is a liar. Hallelujah. I call it forth. I call forth every blessing. I call forth every blessing. Whatever you have claimed tonight, whatever you have claimed tonight, I stand with you in agreement. It shall come to pass. Kayaba Sanda. It shall come to pass. From this night, there shall come testimonies. I prophesy and I declare. From this night, there shall come testimonies. I declare health. Masuka Namahanda Bakariande. Complete health over your life. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, I declare complete health. Masuta makariande bosoto. Era mashanda rabakoro bobosanda. Rika zuka na mahanda makariande. Complete health in the mighty name of Jesus. I call it forth. I call it forth. I call forth your sons. They are coming back. Your daughters are coming to save the Lord. Your sons are coming to save the Lord. Your husband is coming to save the Lord. Your wife is coming to save the Lord. You will serve the Lord together. Mayande bosata makariande. In the name of Jesus, you are waiting for that tender. They said they would give to you, but they are making you to wait. I call forth that tender. I don't know whose word that is. You are waiting on that tender. It is taking long. But tonight I declare in the mighty name of Jesus, they will call you Monday Mosata. Before the end of next week, Kayaba Sanda, I declare before the end of next week, that tender will be given to you. I don't know whose word that is, but I declare it is coming to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Roba Shanda Rabakoriande Mosata. Rikayaba Sanda Bakoriande. I command that pain in the stomach to go. I command it to leave. I command it to leave right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it leave you. Mayam de Moshata Bakariande. Eraba Shondo Robokoro Bobosata. Lima Suka Namahande Boko Sanda. In the mighty name of Jesus. Roba Baba Bashenda Rabak. The Lord is awesome. Oh, Father, we give you praise. Just go ahead and thank the Lord. Just go ahead and thank the Lord tonight. Just go ahead and say thank you, Lord. Just go ahead and say thank you, Lord. Thank
thank you for the healing. Thank you for the miracle that is taking place in my life. Thank you for the blessings that are coming to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the blessings. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the blessings. Thank you for the deliverance. Oh, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Thank you for the breakthrough. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Mandebo sata bakariande. Enamakoro bobo sata bakariande bosoto. Inamakosanda. Just go ahead. Go ahead and say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Kondobo sata bakariande. We give you glory, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. Roba baba ba shenda raba korobo. Ena makoso ndobo koriande. Reba baba ba shika na mahanda bakariba. Ena makoso tobo koriande. In the name of Jesus, it is happening in your life. It is happening in your life right now. It is happening in your life right now. That miracle is taking place in your life right now. That deliverance is taking place in your life right now. That blessing is coming in your life right now. It is coming in your life right now. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you for the finished works of Christ. We thank you for the finished works of Christ. Thank you that we have received it already. And tonight we have claimed it. We will see the manifestation in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for we will celebrate the victory in the name of Jesus. We have prayed, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just put your hands together where you are. Hallelujah. Put your hands together. Hallelujah. You know, I feel I feel it in my spirit. Even before I came online, I, I could pick up that there is something that the Lord wants to do with someone tonight. And the enemy has been raging. But the Lord came through. <laughs> the Lord came through because... God is the ultimate power. <laughs> God is the ultimate power. And no weapon formed against us shall prosper. The word came out. The only thing you need to do is to claim it. Claim it and believe it. And I believe with next, not next week, Friday, the following week after next week, some of you will come back with testimonies. I believe it in my heart that some of you will come back with testimonies about the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. And I believe that the Lord has been speaking to someone. I believe that the Lord located someone tonight. I believe that the Lord located your case. I believe that the Lord located your case and that it is done in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. We have come to the end of tonight's service god bless you thank you so much everyone for coming online thank you for those of you who are sharing the flyers i see it thank you for sharing the links i see it thank you for all your prayers may the lord bless you may the lord keep your families thank you for expanding hallelujah expanding the gospel thank you for expanding the kingdom of god women on the threshing floor is not a church organization it is a god gathering of interdenominational women. We are women from all over, all sorts of churches, hallelujah, because our agenda is the kingdom. Our agenda is the kingdom. So I really want to thank you for all those of you who keep on sharing. And before you go, I just want to give you a chance just to pray for me, pray for our family for our protection, just pray for us as well. Just take a minute. If you want to just write it out, we read out your prayers and we say amen. And I declare again, every prayer that you release over our lives, may God give you double. It's over our lives, over my life, my husband, the children, over the ministry, women on the threshing floor, abandoned life ministries. Every prayer that you are releasing, may the Lord give you double in the name of Jesus. Why don't you take a minute and just pray for me, amen. 
Oh, Jesus, thank you. I am a person. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. 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 May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you and your family. And as I said, may you receive a double of every prayer that you have released upon us. Hallelujah. Thank you. And for those of you who have not yet rest registered, the virtual camp meeting is coming up next week, Friday and Saturday. We are meeting 8 o'clock Friday and 8 o'clock on Saturday. Virtual camp, it is $100 per person. Hallelujah, $50 per day. So I invite you, if you have not registered, please do register and make the payment and let's meet next week, Friday and Saturday. And because of the virtual camp, we will not have the Facebook Live of Women on the Threshing Floor program, but we will come back again the, the, the Friday after next week, Friday, we will come back with the grand finale of this finished works of Christ series, hallelujah. So I invite all of you, if you have not registered, the flyers are online, please do register for the camp. I guarantee you, your life will never be the same hallelujah and then i also want to invite you if you don't have anywhere that you are worshiping and if you are inventing if you don't have a place where you are worshiping and if you are inventing please do join us at abundant life ministries royal assembly we are at 110 robert mugabe avenue the service is starting at 10 every sunday god bless you thank you so much everyone for coming online. I appreciate you and see you at the camp or see you on Sunday. God bless you all. Hallelujah. All the glory. Hallelujah. Lord, we worship you, my Lord. You are worthy to be praised.